Today marks 75 years since the D-Day invasion. On June 6, 1944, Allied forces stormed the beaches in Normandy for one of the greatest military battles in modern history. The D-Day invasion helped change the course of World War II. Right now, a ceremony is underway in France to mark that day. Here's a live look right now. President Trump and French President Emmanuel Macron among those remembering the veterans who sacrificed their lives, shaking their hands. Earlier, Macron told us D-Day veterans Thank you for our freedom. France doesn't forget your sacrifice. And take a look at this. Former Tennessee Adjutant General Max Haston is in France taking part in the ceremonies. His wife sent us these pictures of the sunrise coming up over Omaha Beach 75 years after the D-Day invasion. Certainly some powerful photographs there. And among the tens of thousands of men who stormed the beaches at Normandy, there were many East Tennesseans. Experts say of the 4,000 troops who died during World War II, 228 died during the Normandy campaign alone. 17 of them were from Knox County. Experts say those numbers are very telling of the volunteer state. Some of the smaller counties uh, had uh, just, just one, but every county had at least someone who was there in Normandy who gave, gave up their lives. And tonight at 530, we remember those veterans and the others who gave their lives during World War II. Plus, a D-Day survivor returns to Normandy to mark 75 years since he landed there. That's in a service and sacrifice special tonight at 530, right here on Channel 10.